Hi, I Believe community. My name is Jillian Underwood and I am a writer and contributor to the I Believe community and Crosswalk. My heart has been a little weary lately with recent events in the news, especially the division, the hatred, the name calling, the land blasting one another um, that has been happening in our nation, in America. And I could reference the specific events the day that I'm recording this, but honestly, these are things that have been happening and growing for a long time. And I don't know about you, but it, it kind of weighs my heart down and makes me feel sad and wondering, God, are you still here anymore? Where are the people who love you and seek you first? First and foremost, above all the noise, above all the chaos, above all the opinions everywhere, I want to just know you. I want my heart to grow close to you. I know that throughout scripture, God says that he heals the brokenhearted. He uh, draws us near to him. He draws us near to his heart. And sometimes when the world is full of tor- turmoil, whether it's the things that are happening in the news, or it's the things that are happening in our personal lives, or a combination of both, it can feel like everything piles on top of each other and you get backed into a corner or feeling like you're shoved down into the floor just saying, oh, I give up. I have no more energy to hold anything up. And maybe that's the place where some of us need to get to is just to remember, Lord, we need you. You are the one who loves us. You are our king. You are are everything and I want to see more of you and the people around me but I also want to experience more of you as I live in the world and as I allow you to work through me and so that's my prayer and hope for all of us in the year as we move into a new year here at 2021 and all the days ahead of us no matter where we're starting our journey we're all starting from somewhere And even when we're backed into the corner, feeling heavy and weighed down, God has the strength to, and the the vision to pull that aside, to look down and say, I see you, child. I see you right where you are. You weren't meant to carry all of this. Allow me taking all of that, putting it behind him, and lifting us up saying, walk with me. Keep your eyes on me. All this destruction around you, you have your journey to take, your steps to take. And your steps to take don't include fixing everything around you or understanding all the whys of what's happening, but honoring what God says and responding to Him. That's just my heart cry for each one of us. And I wanted to say a prayer um, to bring us into that place and to just remind our hearts that all that's in this world is not the totality of what God has for us by any means. Thank the Lord. Literally, he has so much more. So let's just go into prayer. Lord, I thank you for who you are. That is more than I could ever know. That is better than I could ever believe. And that has more for me to see and understand, um, that is beyond what I could fathom. Lord, thank you for creating me. Sometimes it's hard to even accept that because I feel weary and I feel scared and I feel small or um, maybe like I'm fighting a battle too much on my own. And Lord, it gets confusing and and, and I want to be with other people, but I, I also struggle with everybody having all these opinions. And then sometimes I wonder, what's my opinion and where do I fit, Lord? Where do I belong? We belong with you always. Even when it's hard to find you in people around us, you are with us and we belong to you. Thank you, Lord, that you're with us no matter what. I ask for your presence to be felt in this moment right now by the person who is praying with me, that they would be able to receive your love in new measure, greater measure today. In Jesus' name, amen. Take care, friends.